like as I've just been thinking and getting older, I've realized that we all gotta die, and I'm just really scared to die. Yeah, we do. But you know, instead of being scared, we should be more concerned about how we gonna get our life right so we can get in heaven. You know? You wanna just come take a ride with me? Sure. All right. All right. Yeah. Coming off the last record. I'm getting 20 million off the record just to off these records, nigga. That's a record. I'm living like I'm out here on my last adventure. Hey. Welcome back to Ride with Lilo. I'm Olivia. Originally from Chicago, I moved down to Texas. Um, I want to say about three years ago, come July. Um, she came to the best state. Like Texas, it is what it is, as they say. <laughs> I done ran into some cool people. What's why is death part of your one of your biggest fears? Like. What you um, because fear about it? I don't know how I'm gonna die. Like if my die, my death gonna be painful, slow and painful. Yeah. <laughs> like if I'm a suffocate, if I'm a burn to death. Like I just don't know the way I'm gonna leave this world. Yeah. So I just don't want it to be painful. I mean that's true. Like I mean, but nobody knows the day, the time, the hour. You know, so it's kind of like a mysterious thing. But be the best person you can be. Be the best you can be. That's true. You know, give back. Um, you know, appreciate life, honor your mother and father. You can do anything you put your mind to. It, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yes, you definitely can. It's definitely one of those type of things where it takes discipline. And it takes, you know, you got to believe in yourself, trust in yourself, and always put God first. Definitely. <laughs> always. And, like, y'all, I'm starting this whole, you know, the monthly challenge that I do. Mm -hmm. Like, join me like this is all things working towards a better version of you like who wouldn't True. want to be the best version of themselves one thing that a person can't take away from you is your education so with like if you just going by oh well, i got a pretty face or i got a banging body you know like those things change yeah. anything can happen any given sunday not you know? only money is power exactly. but knowledge is power this the feeder i thought that was me Typical. I don't know who this is. I'm not for you. You can't go based off, you know, what works for someone else. My goals is basically just to be successful. I see successful as just being happy. Yeah. You know, you're happy with what you're doing. You're happy with your life, and therefore, you're successful if you're at that point. And not just financially. Like financially, it's definitely a plus. Oh, but yeah. you want to be well-rounded. You want to be all the way balanced in life. You want to be physical. You want to be mental. You want to be emotional, spiritual, everything. And some people that have money, they not even like have exactly. And y'all probably see them as successful, but they really not because yeah. they just got all this money, but they commit suicide. Robin yeah. Williams. Like why? Had these these celebrities, everybody look up to and praise and stuff. You know. They, they not know God so like they do this for television you don't know what their struggle is outside of that television exactly. screen exactly. never judge a book by its cover because everybody has a story yep. and everybody's story is different you know and that goes back to me saying you know you gotta live your life for you and find what's best for you you can be a five star version of yourself mm -hmm. but you can't be a five star version of someone else so be you get them five stars I got yeah. six of course <laughs> I got tea. <laughs> Think nowadays a lot of people don't really take relationships serious. I agree. Like they look at relationships as you know, like a status. Yeah. What's the deal with people just wanting sex like that? Yeah. Like I just don't understand. Like so many STDs and. HIVs, AIDS, all type of stuff out here. So um, it's so many. Like yeah. I didn't realize how bad it seriously was. It really is, and that's everywhere. It's not just in Atlanta or not just in the LGBT community. It's everywhere, and it's spreading so fast. Like my school last year, they only had one case. They already had six cases. Wow. This year alone. So, and it's only May. Like that's that's yeah. super scary. Like, it's real, y'all. So just be careful is. out there. And then it becomes even more realer 
when it get closer and closer to you. Not yeah. that it has to be you, but people that you know personally. Exactly. Like that's when it's like, oh, no. it's a reality check, and you just gotta be <laughs> thankful that you did. Cause who says that you're a saint out there? Yeah. But I mean, just be thankful and live life cautiously but like you know just pay attention be aware of your surroundings like it's just it's too many things going on in this world do you but be safe be careful know who you're dealing with know who you're sleeping with you know because a lot of people nowadays is just jumping in bed with people and Anybody. don't really know them it could be the, the first day you met them or a week after you met them two three days later you know that's not safe you and just because they person. look trustworthy or Whatever, you can't trust nobody. Don't do it. But God, you know, you can trust Him. Don't do it. It's a dangerous game out here, and you gotta be smart if you gonna play it. It's there. You just can't play it. <laughs> I just pulled off the line. Are you afraid of anything? I guess you could say I'm kind of afraid of failure. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of like letting my guard down, letting people get too close to me and then hurting me or betraying me in some type of way, being disloyal, being dishonest, stuff like that. That's what I fear. My thing is I'm more, you know, of a lover than a fighter. I hate fighting, arguing and stuff like that. You know, so I, I hate, like to keep I peace. like to debate. Yeah, but I don't, this I don't like to argue. Like, serious arguments, it's just like, I don't And I just want to take the time to thank Olivia. Like, thank you so much for no riding problem. with me. Like, I'm sure they enjoyed you because I enjoyed I you. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, thank you guys. Thank you for having me. Um, hope you guys have been at least, um, taking heed to what I was saying, listening, you know, if you needed to take notes or whatever. But always keep those things on your mind and always keep God first. That's definitely something that I want to leave with you guys today. Um, and just stay positive. Try to do the best you can in life, period, overall. You know, find that inner balance and, you know, live your life. And thank you guys so much for watching Riding with Lilo. And just make sure you subscribe, like, comment, whatever you think about the video. And yeah, stay tuned because they're coming. So just make sure you subscribe. Peace. Bye. Made it. Yeah, time for a Tuscan leather smelling like a brick. Degenerates, but even Ella love our shit. Rich enough that I don't have to tell them that I'm rich. Self explanatory, you just here to spread the story. What's up?